the mysterious tadpole. Uh, Steve Kellogg is our author and illustrator. More than 25 years ago, Steve and Kellogg first wrote and illustrated The Mysterious Tadpole. Then, for the book's big anniversary, he published a new version with a different illustration and words. The new version is the one you're about to read. Greetings, nephew, cried Louise's uncle McAllister. I've brought a wee bit of Scotland for your birthday. Thanks, said Louise. Look, Mom and Dad, it's a tadpole. Louise named him Alphonse and promised to take care of, good care of him every day. Look, Louise took Alphonse to school for show and tell. Class, here we have a splendid example of a tadpole, exclaimed Mrs. Shelbert. Let's ask Louise to bring it back every week so we can watch it become a frog. Miss Sh Shelford was amazed to see how quickly Alphonse grew. Maybe it's because he only eats cheeseburgers, said Louise. When Alphonse became too big for his jar, Louise moved him to the kitchen sink. He's the perfect pet, said Louise. Louise and Alphonse love to play games. Be careful, Louise, said his mother. The living room is not a soccer field. Something is going to get broken. And she was right. The same day, that same day, the soccer ball slammed into Aunt Tabitha's antique lamp. This tadpole is out of control, said Louise's mother. Something must be done. It won't happen again, promised Louise. I'll take Alphonse to obedience school. The only animals at obedience school were the dogs. Some of their owners stared at Alphonse suspiciously. Pretend you're a dog, whispered Louise. Alphonse tried to bark, but it sounded like a burp. Hold on a minute, said the trainer. What kind of dog is this? He's a hairless spotted water spaniel from Scotland, explained Louise. Alphonse quickly learned to sit, stay, and retrieve. He graduated at the top of his class. My parents will be very pleased, said Louise. But Louise's parents were not pleased when Alphonse outgrew the sink and had to be moved to the bathtub. This shower is too crowded, complained Louise's father. This bathroom is a mess, moaned Louise's mother. At least Louise's classmates enjoyed Alphonse, who was still making weekly visits. Wow, show and tell is more fun than recess, they yelled. But one day, Mrs. Shelper decided that Alphonse was not turning into an ordinary frog. She asked Louise to stop bringing him to school. By the time summer vacation arrived, Alphonse outgrown, had outgrown the bathtub. We could buy the parking lot next door and build him a swimming pool, suggested Louise. Be sensible, declared Louise's parents. Swimming pools are expensive. We're sorry, Louise, but this is the situation. This situation has become impossible. Tomorrow, you will have to take your tadpole to the zoo. But I can't put my friend in a cage, cried Louise. That night, Luis was very sad, until he remembered that the gym in the nearby high school had a swimming pool. Luis had Alphonse under a carpet and smuggled him inside. Nobody uses this place during the summer, whispered Luis. You'll be safe here. After making sure that Alphonse felt at home, Luis said goodbye. I'll be back tomorrow with a big pile of cheeseburgers, he promised. Louise came every afternoon to play with Alphonse. In the mornings, he earned the money for cheeseburgers by delivering newspapers. The training continued as well. Louise would say, Alphonse, retrieve! And Alphonse would succeed every time. As summer vacation passed, Louise became more and more worried about what would happen to Alphonse when the high school kids returned.
After his first day of classes, Luis ran to the high school and found the gym bustling with activity. The swim team was headed for the pool. Stop! cried Luis. On your mark, bellowed the coach. Get set! Excuse me, sir, said Luis. Go! roared the coach. Alfonsi rose to the surface to welcome the swimmers. It's a submarine from another planet, shrieked the coach. Call the police! Call the Navy! No, it's only a tadpole, said Luis. He's my pet. The coach was upset and confused. You have until tomorrow, he cried, to get that creature out of my pool. Luis telephoned his friend Mrs. Siever, Miss Sievers, the librarian, and asked for her help. I'll be right there, she said. Miss Sievers rushed to meet Luis at the high school. When she saw Alphonse, she was so startled that she dropped her purse into the water. Retrieve, said Luis, and Alphonse did. Where did this astounding animal come from? cried Miss Sievers. He was a birthday gift from my uncle, Luis replied. Miss Sievers telephoned un Uncle McAllister. Oh, the wee tadpole, he said. Why, he came from the lake nearby. It's the one folks call Loch Ness. Brace yourself, Luis, Miss Sievers said. I believe your uncle found the Loch Ness monster. I don't care, cried Luis. Alphonse is my friend, and I love him. He pleaded with Miss Sievers to help him raise enough money to buy the parking lot so he could build a big swimming pool for Alphonse. Suddenly, Miss Sievers had an idea. Long ago, a pirate ship sank in the harbor, she said. No one has ever been able to find it or its lost treasure. Mm, but perhaps we can. The next morning, they drove to the harbor and rented a boat. This is a treasure chest, cried Louise. Retrieve! Alphonse disappeared under the water and returned with the chest. It was filled with gold and jewels. Let's buy the parking lot and get to work, cried Miss Sievers. Louise's parents were shocked to see a construction crew in the parking lot. Luis, they cried, what in the world is going on here? Alphonse found a pirate treasure ship, explained Luis, and we used part of our gold to buy you this present. Luis's parents were shocked once again. Tickets for a vacation cruise to Hawaii? <gasps> they gasped. And said Luis, you don't have to worry about us because Granny has agreed to babysit. They hugged Luis. They kissed Alphonse. How soon can we leave? They cried. Immediately, said Luis. By the time Luis's parents returned, the swimming pool was being enjoyed by everyone in the city. A week later, Luis said, Alphonse, tomorrow's my birthday, which means that you've been my best friend for a whole year. The next day, Uncle McAllister arrived for the party. Greetings, Luis, my lad, he exclaimed. I've come with a curious stone from the hills of Scotland. Happy birthday. Wow, thanks, said Luis. Suddenly, the stone began to tremble and 